<laughs> What's up, guys? It's me again, Ombwa from the DOP crew, and now I'm playing Hammer Watch, uh, which is uh, sort of a, a massively gauntlet single, well, up to four player experience. I think it's four player couch. Uh, I don't think you can like play via server, which is too bad. Um, I'm gonna turn the music down just a touch because it's kind of got a loop in it, and uh, you know, while it's all right, it'll be driving. You know, when I'm not talking, when I'm not talking, it'll drive, but in the meantime, we don't want it to be too loud, right? So I'm going to kick it down overall. I'm going to keep the panning on, though, because apparently sound means something, which is, you know, that's cool. Like that, so we're going to just keep the sound up, master it about half, and the music down about... about there. What is that, like an eighth? I'm on controller one, because I figured out how to map it to this, which won't as in my previous messed up stuff that I, I didn't ever push to YouTube and I'm not gonna um, in those previous ones I kept turning on my will be back later button on accident and that was dumb and uh, so we're not gonna do that anymore and uh, let's just go man hammer watch I was paladin before but being a paladin is dumb we're gonna be in castle hammer watch because I haven't fa finish it yet. Uh, we have to fight my way through and get to the treasure. I also have the DLC. If this is fun for my watchers, then we'll just come back and do Temple of the Sun too, right? Um, standard difficulty. I mean, only for very skilled players, easier. Since it's up to four player, and I'm playing it single player, I'm going to play it on standard, right? Because that's how I am. I don't, I'll play it on easy. I'll play it on standard. I'm not going to load anything, no custom levels, though apparently there's a way to make custom levels, which is cool. Um, and then we have different guys here. And I've only ever played Paladin, and I played a, just a test level with uh, Wizard, and I think I'm going to go Wizard, because they're pretty cool. Um, Ranger is apparently recommended for new players, which I really honestly am. And then the Warlock is a melee spellcaster who can replenish health, and then, you know, Thief... I'm well known for playing thieves in tabletop RPGs. I, I often play thieves or illusionists or sneaky guys or, you know, crazy deeds like that. And um, I don't think I'm going to be a thief in this game. The priest looks pretty cool. Range caster who can heal, like, with, like, good defenses. Range spell caster with good defenses who can heal. That seems like... That seems like the shit, man. That seems pretty powerful. But, again, I'm only going to be a priest. Take a second to say hello to everybody in my chat channel. I'm glad that you came back to watch me play Hammer Watch. Um, I'm always gratified to see people hanging out, and uh, thanks for showing up. And yeah, the priest does have a Dagon hat. Exactly. If you do some research, you'll find that uh, the, 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 the hat that a lot of um, some of the Catholic and Eastern Orthodox, etc., the, the hat they wear is shaped after um, what were before fish shapes, so kind of a fish head hat, you know, which was actually followers of, legitimately, of Dagon, of a real, um, I believe, Mesopotamian, correct me if I'm wrong, someone in a chat channel or something, um, uh, but I believe it was Mesopotamian, perhaps Sumerian, but some early civilization um, group that, that worshipped Dagon, uh, had these fish heads, and you know, and now we assume Dagon is, you know, some creation of H.P. Lovecraft, and you know, it's when the sea level rises, and and the muck clears away, and some dude gets trapped in his boat, gets out of his boat because he's, you know, no ocean, and one of us wandering around, and goes and finds an icon uh, that was on the sea floor because it was antediluvian. It's been there since forever ago, you know, and that's, you know. That's my five-second synopsis of the story Dagon by H.P. Lovecraft, right? And that's what most people think. But no, in fact, Dagon was um, a, an old god from another civilization that we don't have a lot of ken of, and they were the, they, they were these fish heads, and that fish head is actually the um, the genesis, the beginning of the hat that now Catholics and this priest here and um, Eastern Orthodox, etc., wear. So. He's a Babylonian. Uh, I got I got someone in the chat over here saying Dagon was Babylonian. And again, early man, you know, um, Babylon, the Babylon. There you go, Sumer, Marduk, Tiamat. That's I don't know all that place, all those places 
they swirl in my head at the moment now. And I'm not going to play a priest, so rock and roll priest in your Dagon hat. I'm certainly going to play a paladin. I'm going to play a wizard, because I, I played with him earlier today, and it was a little fun. He has a fire power, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, literally a fire power, not a fire power, but a fire, but, but both. Actually, a fire power and a fiery power. So I'm going to play the wizard. Standard difficulty. Castle hammer watch. I'm in the prison, floor one, and again, as we recall, as we recall, your friends are lost on the other side of a bridge. We'll wait, find a way out. And I know from other other playthroughs that I can find a magic plank or something. And magic planks are apparently apparently the way to go because I'm pretty sure if you gather those up, they uh, they complete that bridge. So let's play. Um, uh huh. I have some magic powers because I'm a whiz, and as a whiz robe, I can do some cool things with my with my fireballs. And it does suck a lot of. Oh shit! Oh, my health is sucking. Mm, I need some apples already. I can do it again. I mean, again, this is roguelike-ish in that uh, it's always a different game. Um, but. Uh, if I find some apples, I'll be apple eater. I can I can heal my shit. My flame power there doesn't actually ah no 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 doesn't actually use up my life. Oh, is that so? I didn't notice. Ah, hold up! Don't look at the other screen while you killing shit. Well, that would be good to know, and uh, I would use that, uh, I would take it under advi 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 advisal, advisal, I would take it under advisal, advisance, advisal. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 yes, increases, yes, syncretism, you are correct, the, uh, the association of really any, um, local religion into another as happened with Catholics quite a bit. Um, in fact, Catholic, uh, don't shoot food. Um, Catholic was actually meant universal, basically, um, in the early days, the early uh, tr translations of that word. Um, and I learned this in my um, comparative religion class, so yay. But uh, what, it, what it meant was that they actually, uh, there was a particular, you know, <laughs> a synod that will be funny to some people, Wherein they decided that syncretism, syncretism was uh, the way to go because if you could bring the lo the local folks into the fold, oh shit! If you could bring if you could bring the locals into the fold by um, being like, you know, hey, our, our religions aren't that all aren't that all that different, you know. In fact, maybe oh shit, I'm out of mana. I think these still work. Yep, those still work. I even think there's an auto fire. There it is. Ha 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 ha. Um, so they they said, you know, if we can bring the local folks all into the fold, uh, that it's for the better. Um, so we should check out what they do that is similar, and we should assimilate that stuff into the doctrine, and we should just tell them how it's basically the same thing, and and get their um, buy-in because then, um, then we then we'll have them. And the point isn't to have people all kind of zombified, but but rather to have everybody working together towards the same goal. And meeting in the same place once a week so we can check them out and make sure nobody's doing anything fucking hinky. You know, and that was, you know, we're talking 10th to like 14th century Catholicism. Um, I don't remember exactly when that sign out is and I ain't looking it up right now because, hey, dude, I, I got my A in, in fucking medieval history and I'm not looking up the history of the popes right now. I'm not Catholic. This is just my, my remembrance. That said, whatevs, Catholicism as universal, um, as seen in, or at least as portrayed, ah, fuck you, ah, I died, because I was talking and not paying attention, but whatevs, I get to live again, um, I think that's not so terrible, anyway, yeah, you're exactly right, I got, yeah, Constantine was a thing, I was glossing, I was just kind of, seriously, I was like, I was like, dude, I can get my history credit and take medieval history. It should be really dope. That'll be fun. I'll learn sorts of kind of you know nuances and little bits about 
medieval history, and it turned out to be history of the popes. 101. I was like, great, I'm not Catholic. But hey, whatevs. Give me some perspective. Catholics were really important back in those days, except they also were part of... Yeah, I don't know. It's like all cultures, right? Part of the problem, but also part of the solution. If it wasn't for a bunch of those motherfuckers, we wouldn't have any records. Historical records. Because, you know, they were the ones that copied the books. They were also the ones that... Oh, a passage has been revealed. Hello! They were also the ones that, you know, stamped out particular ways of life and burned shit that, you know, could otherwise give us different perspectives. But, you know, hey, they copied the books. They wrote the books. They were the literate ones at the time. Not that there weren't people who were literate before, but whatever. This is not the religion show. This is the Hammer Watch show. And I'm Dio, I'm Omba. I'm not dope crew. I'm not by myself. I'm one of many. We all contribute to the DOP crew. But me, I'm Ombwa, and I'm playing Hammerwatch, and, uh, what's up, folks? I much like this, I, I like this character way more than the fucking Paladin. Because I can be like, boom, 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 shoot fireballs. Reminds me of Cid my City of Heroes character, whose name was Hood Rat. And the Hood Rat in City of Heroes, see, I can't pick these up because my mana's full. But if I, my mana was not full, I would be picking these up. Boop, 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 boop. Just like the apples, in fact. But yeah, the Hood Rat was a flying fire uh, dude that throws fire and ice. He threw fire and ice. He was an elemental uh, whatever that is. Fire motherfucker. Who threw fireballs and ice balls and shit. And he was basically flying around. He'd fly around and be like, you're stunned with ice, you can't move, and then I will burn you till you die. Hold up one second. What do you guys think? Yes, it was a blaster, exactly. It was a blaster. Thank you very much. A blaster. Also, as an Easter egg to anybody who watches my convoy shit, I could never remember the name of a game um, in my convoys when I'm when I'm like this game reminds me of this game and I can't think of it and it's the one that inspired me and Snipe Hunter, my business partner, and Skyward Star Dog, uh, my Skyward Star Corp, blah blah blah, um, to write a game called uh, Highway. Wait, wait, wait. Interstate Unknown. It's called Interstate Unknown. That's what we want to write. But anyway, it's all based on a game, and I can never remember the name of that game when I'm playing Convoy. And the name of that game is Road War 2000. So go look up that gem of an awesome game, and this is an Easter egg for anybody that has watched my Convoy games and gone, What was the game? What was the game? Yeah, if you watch my, if you watch my other streams, you'll learn secrets. So, you know, unlocking shit, you know. Inspiration to watch all the streams. See what I did there? It's games. It's gamifying. I, I gamified shit. That's the future. Yeah, Road War Saw. That's fucking awesome. It's basically one of my favorite games of all time. Road War 2000. So good. Oh, you know what? So, this game has like a map. And I don't ever utilize it. But. Oh, see? Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Yeah, so I play this game badly, poorly, badly, poorly, both. Um, but I'm getting better. Poorly. down by the mana crystals, son. Let me tell you a story about Gauntlet. When I was young, my father used to take myself and my older brother on down to a place called the Malibu Grand Prix. And, uh, the Malibu Grand Prix was a, uh, had like a, 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 tr a fucking go-kart track. 
and an arcade, right? You know, and then the accoutrement for an 80s arcade and go-kart track place. Um, and so, we went to this place and I'm kind of on the regular, and we would do some laps in the go-karts and, you know, play some video games. Really, I have to, I, I owe my career and what I do with regards to video games to my father and his nerdiness and my older brother and his, ah, and his practice as a Golden Age pirate back in the Apple II days, man, because I had so much exposure to that shit. I was just like, it was a shoe in you know, that's what I did. But anyway, so we went to this Malibu Grand Prix kind of regular, um, Malibu... Malibu Grand Prix. I should see an elocutionist. Anyway, so we went to the Malibu Grand Prix on the regular, and um, we play video games. And one day we go in there, and they've got this game with this giant console, with like four, you know, four control sets uh, with keys, and and it was D and D. It was Dungeons and Dragons, and I had a passion for D and D from about seven years old on. Um, thanks to my older brother who brought it home from his 8th grade class, you know, brought home the Keep on the Borderlands and played it with me and my father on our weekend, you know, trip uh, together at my dad's house. But anyway, um, so I was, had a hard-on for D&D, and here was this four-player video game, D&D. I'm pretty sure it was like 82, 83. Um, someone can fact-check me on that because I'm playing Hammerwatch. Um, and I was like, oh, this is the sex. This game right here is so rad. So we went and did our, our laps on the, on the go-karts, which is fun, but... I was just, I, I, I want to go back to the arcade and play this game, this gauntlet, this gauntlet is what it's called, and they had this song, I can remember it to this day, um, I'm not going to sing it right now, but you know, I might bust out as I'm playing this, I'm trying to, I wonder if I can get over there, um, but so it was, it was on a track mode, and I was like, yes, this is it, I start playing it, I, I start blowing the money my dad gave me to play it. My dad would give me probably 10 bucks in tokens, you know. And I was dropping them and playing them and dropping them and playing, just playing this fucking game. Mostly playing Valkyrie because Valkyrie is my fave. Love the Valk. Love the Valkyrie. But anyway, um, plus blue, and I like that. But, you know, nowadays I play green. But then again, the elf, mm, kind of weak. But anyway, so I'm playing. And then my older brother comes in, and he's like, what are you playing? And he stands next to me while I'm playing. And I'm like, play this game's fucking dope, man. This game's so good. Really, it turns out, you know, upon an al uh, hour. Upon analysis, uh, now upon analysis, now that I'm you know 15 years in the games industry, I can tell you essentially what I was playing was a shmup, just as this is a shmup, you know. But we didn't call them shmup back there, but it was a shoot 'em up, you know. And that's what I'm that's what I'm playing right now, an advanced shoot 'em up. But the theme sold me. Like if it would have been spaceships, I would not have paid that much that fast. Even though you know eventually I did play Life Force and 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 similar, I would not have done what I did with Gauntlet that day, which was blow blow through that ten bones so fast, and my older brother showed up and was like, you know, what are you playing? And I'm like, I advocated very hard for Gauntlet. And he was like, alright, and so he starts spending his money, and then he spent all his money, and my dad comes in, I don't know if he'd been watching the race cars, or if he had just taken longer on his thing. Um, I know that the adults got to drive better carts back then, but he comes in, and he goes, what are you kids doing? And we're like, we're out of money, Dad, we're, dad, we're out of money. Pops for out of money. Um, you know, join in, join in, give us some money. So my dad spent some money. And I'm pretty sure that over the next hour and a half, my older brother, my father, and I dropped $50, maybe more, into this machine called Gauntlet. Each one of us playing a different role. My father played Wizard, my older brother played Elf for a while, and Warrior for a while. I stuck with Valkyrie the, basically the whole time. And, uh, man, that was, like, defining. So... Nowadays, I, I've actually read quite a bit about the phenomena that was Gauntlet and how it was designed to suck quarters and um, how we were kind of doomed from the moment I bought into the IP. Um, but it was wonderful, and I'm pretty sure that was the point of the story. It's to tell you the story about how I dropped millions, well, not millions, I dropped about 50 bucks of my dad's money via my fa myself, my father, and my older brother back in like 1982 or 1983 at a Malibu Grand Prix in Anaheim, California, in the shadow of the Angel Stadium. This place isn't even there anymore. I think it's a condo now. My life is really low. I want to read the chat. I see you guys chatting. I'm glad for your opinions. And... Oh shit, no poison, no poison, no poison. Haha, <laughs> told you it was a shmup. Bullet hell, bullet hell. 
It looks like fantasy, but it's bullet hell. I wonder if there's a way that I can do something to heal myself. No. No, there isn't. Potion is left bumper. But I have a potion. Look, it's empty. My potion is dry. Thank you. God, that ain't true in real life. I'm gonna stand here in this chamber for a moment and check out your your, your comments. Hi, I'm Ombwa of the DOP crew, station identification, blah, blah, blah. I'm glad you're watching as I play Hammer Watch. Here's to you in my chat channel. Nineteen eighty five. It was nineteen eighty five, according to research echoed back to me by my intelligence crew. Thank you very much. 1985 gauntlet hit the stage as a coin operated money drain and boy did it drain my father's money Whew! but it was sexy so um, 1985 means exactly I was I was 10 essentially yeah I was 10 rock and roll yeah yeah so Honestly, Gauntlet, as I've read in the past, Gauntlet was built to just draw quarters and just go on and on and on and on and on. It had really no bosses. It was just your progress was that the, the level changed color and things got fucking harder and faster and more of them and that was it, you know. But it was enough. The theme was enough given the, I mean, at the time, see those apples? I see those apples. How do you like them apples? I like those apples very much. No, bat. But yeah, man. It was just... It was the time, really. And nothing like that had occurred. I was... By the way, I was just shooting that to make sure that we didn't have Zelda rules. It, it was great. It was really effective at draining. Even at the time, uh, I was a hardcore video game player um, because my father was an engineer. And um, he only had myself and my older brother on weekends, so we would often go to, you know, movies and arcades, you know, and my dad liked, liked arcades, you know, so we played lots of video games, and it was a way for my dad to spend money on his kids and feel good about them, and that's awesome, and I love my father, and he did good, on, did good by me that way, but that meant that I played all kinds of fucking video games, that's for damn sure. And then, as I said before, my older brother uh, participated in the, you know, Golden Age of Piracy back then on the, uh, see that other apple? I'm getting that apple. Um, on the Apple IIe. So I had the apple, ha! The Apple IIe! Everybody laugh. Anyway, so I had access to basically every IIe game ever. Um, and I played all these motherfucking things. So, even to somebody with that much exposure, uh, Gauntlet was was moving was something that really caused me to just sit there for you know like I said you know, two or three hours of real time and just beg my father hey dude let's play let's get more money and then my dad played himself you know and he was you know old enough to be my father You know what's funny about just responding to uh, what, 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 responding to the chat channel? Microtransactions are a trip because I used to not believe in paying money for data. I'm sure that was in part influenced by the things I've said before about you know my experience to particular cultures and things. But um, data must be free. Uh, sorry, Tourette's. Um, but no. I, I, for a long time, I was very resistant to the idea of paying for, you know, microtransactions of any sort. But, one day, um, it may have even been while I was working on a project that required that I accept that paradigm, because that's how it was going to be. Or maybe it was just, you know, one day while I was thinking about this stuff. But, um, it came to me that I used to spend a quarter for uh, an N period of time of playing a game. An end game, you know, dependent that in some ways upon my skill, but as demonstrated by Gauntlet and Sinistar, um, also in some ways by the algorithm of the game itself and the difficulty um, adjustments uh, based on performance, etc. Um, it was it was a limited period of time from end till 
X, right? You know, in this this measurable period of time. And I would gladly spend quarter after quarter after quarter to play that. Um, and I was like, you know, this is very similar. It's just this is you know 20 years later at least, and uh, so maybe a quarter is a dollar. Fucking beetle. Um, maybe a quarter is a dollar, and maybe I measure how much that little unit of resource because. Let's be honest, money ain't fucking real, right? It's just some fucking database value. So there it is, and I kick it down, and I'm gonna get it kicked back by my job, hopefully, you know, and for as long as I can access this electronic cloud, I get access to that bit of love, you know, that bit of awesome. And so, you know, whatever. That's, that's where I'm at. Spend or coin. Sin <laughs> Star is one of my favorite games ever. I totally hit the checkpoints right here. Look, red checkpoint. Boom. Save game. <laughs> what? I saw that little red. Oh, strange plank. Strange plank. I got a strange plank. Woo! Where's my fireworks? Where's my smoke bowl? Boom. Hit the bowl. Now I gotta find my way back to my peeps. Yeah, good fucking luck. It's this way. Uh... Yeah, right? I saw the little red light. It looked like Hal. It was like... I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Wizard. I have to let you through here. And I was like, yeah, you do. And just walked. I didn't expect it to be a secret door, actually. That was completely unexpected. I was just like, what is this? And it was like Zelda style. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I was pretty bitching. Now I'm on my way back to my hopes because I'm pretty sure where my people are. I get to throw down this plank. What's up? I get to throw down my plank and it will like it'll do it'll open the door. I think that's what this is for. I think this is what is going on. Boop, boop, boop. Here we are, folks. Can I use my special? Hey, mother. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no. Okay. How do I use it? I need to do a thing. No. No. Yes. I got a magic plank, yo. What the fuck? Hmm. Let's figure out what the buttons do. You know? Actually, none of these help. Huh. So, yeah, honestly, actually, no, 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 fuck. Did you see that? Did you see what I just did? See what I, you saw what I did. I just restarted that on accident. Because I'm a big fucking dumb shit. And you know what I didn't do? Learn how to make that fucking work. Ugh. So here we go again. Off to try to figure out how that shit works. And I suck. I'm a bad wizard. Bad wizard. The subtitle of this ex uh, experiment actually is Bad Wizard. Oh, hey, bomb. There's a bomb in that barrel. Who puts a bomb in a barrel? Alright, I'm gonna hunker down right here and check out my chat channel. What's up, guys? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm I'm aware of what's going on over there. I see that stuff. I I personally, just to share with what's going on with the chat channel and to save for posterity, I have a dog who believes he must be something like a cat because his best friend is a big fat rescue cat, a uh, big Tom. It's all our, our only male cat, um, except that our, our only male cat grew up basically uh, safe right after becoming uh, safe from, from the shelter um, 
he was put into close contact with a dog about the same size as he, um, what I call a Shizund, and our Shizund is um, actually a breed of five dogs, um, that in just one moment I will have the presence of mind to uh, recite to you, but first I must kill these beetles. He is a Tibetan Spaniel, plus Jack Russell, plus Pug, plus Chihuahua, Tibetan Spaniel, Jack Russell, Pug, Chihuahua, Rat Terrier. Yeah. That. It's that. Those five. Exactly. That's five, right? Tibetan Spaniel, Rat Terrier, Pug, Chihuahua, Jack Russell. Five. That's what he is. A Shizund. But, but he looks like a fruit bat, except he has no wings. You know, so whatever. That's my dog. Woo, shit. Beetles. Beetles. Beetles everywhere. Beetles. I HATE BLOODS! He thinks he's a cat. My shy isn't. But then again, the cat he grew up with thinks he's a dog, so... Between the two of them, I have some weird-ass fucking animals. That ain't even part of the men men menagerie That's just a section. A segment. I reveal the secret passage. I'm gonna grab some gold. See, I can do that Randy Newman just say what's going on thing and just get away with it, except I'm gonna do it melodically rather than like. rather than like. shot some beetles. wander down the hall. let's shoot some beetles. cause I don't like them at all. I like Randy Newman, actually. I think dropped, uh, what's it called? Political Science. Dropped a big one. Kitchen song. Um, there's some, there's some good Randy Newman. Even, you know, when I was growing up in Southern California as a child, I thought I Love L.A. was a dope song because, you know, it was about my hometown and I Love L.A. And wasn't that a cool joke when he said, look at that mountain and he was really talking about the Matterhorn at Disneyland? Wasn't that cool? You know. But nowadays I'm like, really, dude? You just kind of say what's going on. Oh, sparkle ponies. I'm sure somewhere in this game there are sparkle ponies. I'm sure there are somewhere. And in fact, I, I, I had a glass. I, there was a request that this game session had sparkle ponies. And in fact, the earlier game session of Heavy Bullets was very pink. You know, in order to um, color, co co color coordinate with the... Uh, with the elephants, but since there were no people with the pink elephants, the pink did not go coordinated. And now, now I'm playing Hammer Watch, and um, I'm sure there are sparkle ponies in here somewhere. Besides the one, I had a glass uh, glow-in-the-dark unicorn, which I think qualifies as a sparkle pony, but the cord was so long it would hang way down hard, and you couldn't see it and on my t-shirt, you couldn't see what I was doing, so um, I opted for the... Uh, Carved stone bird um, with uh, the Celtic knots on it th that my squire brother gave me at my squiring at uh, the last battle more, which is um, an event, a war event um, thrown by the Society for Creative Anachronism. And if you're interested in that shit or medievalism in general or medieval recreation, go look up sca.org because the SCA is dope. And I do that a lot of times. And so if you ever see me not streaming for a week or so, it's probably because I went to war. I'm trying to figure out a way actually to stream from war so I can like uh, show you highlights of the battle and crap like that. But um, at present, Ombwa is not at that level. So that's why that's where we are with regard to Sparkle Ponies to those that were so, um, such, con so concerned. Also, much love to the people in my chat channel. Thanks for coming by. I am Ombwa, DLP crew, playing Hammer Watch. Here's to you. Uh 
means actually that I can come back to this if I die or if that's just where it's going to jump me back when I die because I know that this game just kind of gives you lives. I don't know if it's infinite lives which you know would mean everybody is like, I guess doomed to win is the right way to say it. I'm not sure. Also uh, this game supports up to four players which I think is kind of cool but um, does not support that as far as I can tell. Um, over any network, which is kind of a lose, you know, because it'd be cool to have four people I'd put you four in frame and have four folks playing with me. But no. Yeah, I think exactly. I think ah, almost found out. I think um, what happens is that uh, that's where you go back to when you die. But I also, there's no like quarter. Uh, you know, there's no coin-operated um, mechanic where you're limited. You know, it seems like you just go and go and go, which is you know a little nutty. Because, like I said, that means you're, you know, you're doomed to win, right? You're going to win eventually, because you, you can't run out of lives, as far as I can tell. But then again, I've only died the once, because, ah, he says right before he dies. No maggots. No fucking maggots. So, uh, one of the options is you can, um, ah, I'm fucking poisoned. Okay, you can, um, restrict, you can restrict the, uh, firing angles to just eight points. But I did not do that. I turned that off because that seems like that's weenie mode and um, I'm not a weenie. As I have said repeatedly, I've been playing lots of games throughout my life and uh, I don't think that's the way to go. Vendor coin. The fuck is a vendor coin? I don't know. Don't know what a vendor coin is. Actually, I do. It does a thing with your percentage, with what the the fucking vendors cost you. Ah, ay, 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 ay. Where there's maggots, there's beetles. There's beetles. If only. Imagine all the maggots spitting venom at you. Alright. Sorry about that. It's fun stuff. Having fun while I shoot stuff with my fire. I am the god of hellfire! And I bring you apple juice. And cheers to everyone in the chat. What's going on, guys? Off we go. Oh, it's going to be like that. Exploiting the corners. Pro tip. 
players of Dungeons and Dragons. Ah, don't do what I just did. But exploit the corners because, uh, hey, tactically, that's the way to go. Give me that apple. I want that apple. Thank you. No, 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 no. Just die. Please die. That's what we want. All right. Life ain't all that great, but here we go. Kill him! Maggots! Kill maggots with- Ay, 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 with fire! What the fuck? There's a dude over there! Gotta save that person! Gotta save that person! Except, I'm gonna die. So gonna die. Oh, beetles. No, 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 no. I'm not saving this progress right here, no. Hell no. Oh, I am suffering too badly. I'ma die. I'ma die! I don't wanna die! Oh, but I did. Dead I am. Hey, there I am again. Like I said, Back to that place every time you restart. Probably got another 10 minutes or so on Hammer Watch. I advise you to uh, step on in, hit my subscribe button if you have not. Chat in the chat channel and say hello, what's up, everybody? I'm Omba. This is. Hammer Watch. This is the DOP Crew Channel. I like to show up, you know, from time to time. Yeah, I know about the strange planks. I know. I found one. And I play fun games while I talk on my stuff like this. I have lots of other videos you can go check out. Me playing other games. It's fun. Woohoo! Oh, poisoned. I'm so poisoned. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense, actually, that they would that they would reset. Yeah, most of it looks like it does. Yeah, I agree. No, no. Chat channel saying, you know, it looks like most of the level resets when you die, which I think it does. I was not paying an ah, enough ten attention to really mark uh, too much of the ah features of the level. Which probably I should have been, but you know, pew 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 pew, right? Uh, 
bomb. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna. The end of the level. The end of the level. Hmm. I'll have to come back to you in a minute. Pretty wicked coo. There's other stuff though. I mean, look at that. And that. What happens at the end of the level? What happens to your friends? They're still there. They're still there, trapped. I don't know. I'm curious. Meow! Stop! Meow! Meow! Stop right meow! 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 Yeah, gotta, I don't want to get that strange plank, I just gotta figure out how. Poisoned again! Uh. Yeah. <laughs> that is particularly bleak. But uh, it, may, it may in fact be the case that all they want is rescue. And once you've rescued them, they're just gonna go away. They're just... They're just... Thanks, wizard. Thank, yeah, maybe, if you're lucky. Otherwise, you could have done it faster. Why'd you have to die? Why'd you have to die, wizard? Why? Ha! I don't even go. Where, where am I going? I'm, what am I doing? I'm trying to do a thing. Right, you see, it'd be better if I could, like, scan around without moving my dude. But whatever. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Found so much gold. I'm a gold finding wizard. Gold finding wizard. I find the gold when I'm in the wizard in something like that. I don't know. Sometimes I used to try to freestyle, but I wasn't good at it. So, sorry. That's where I'm gonna come back. If I die, I'll be right there. Right there. What's up? Ha! No! Where was it? Where? I was too busy looking like this. You lie. You lie about that. You say. I don't think it's really there. No. 
No, don't say it. <laughs> Open that damn door! Let me in there! Won't let me. It's a lie. It's a big fat lie. Can't get there either. Look, there's the map. See, they're way over there. Can't get there on that little sliver of sliveriness. Won't happen. The right of the checkpoint. That's what you say. I don't even know where the checkpoint was. It was over here, actually. I do remember where it was. Do, 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 do. It was right there. That's the checkpoint, motherfucker. You said somewhere. What was that? On the right. Right where? Where? I don't see it. I don't see, where, you mean that? I can't get there right now. It's over there. What do you mean, like, this guy over here? I can't, I can't get over there either. Well, I don't. What? <laughs> okay, seriously. Seriously, this is your rage. You you get to sacrifice your rage for my not being able to follow your instructions. That's what the, that's what the banner says. I gave you the warning. Where? Where 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 where? See, I don't see it. I know you know I know you know I don't see it. It's not there, but I can't get it. Meow, meow. <laughs> and you should be. Here's to laughing your ass off because I can't. I, I can't. I see that blue thing, but I can't get in there. This door won't open for me. And I'm gonna go this way. Nothing's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna come over here. Come on. You know, I can even, I, I know, god damn it, no, okay, no. Do, 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 do. So here I am. That's my, that's my checkpoint, see? Okay, down and right. Rose gets it. Okay, down. 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 Wait. You said down. I'm going down. Is it time for right? Tell me when. Tell me when. This is the first right I can make. Unless you mean you're right. And at that point, I don't even know what the fuck. So say, should I go right or should I go back up? I will wait. For your direction. That guy over there? Yeah? Say yes or no. One one tap for, for yes, two taps for no, Mr. Red. I'm going right. Okay. Way over there, that yellow dot, right? This way. Should I stop here and go somewhere else? Going right? Going right? Hey, 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 someone is fucking with the signal. Am I... Should I go the other way? Tell me, go the other way. Say with the words. See, because look, there it is, right there. There's, there it is, that's the one. To my right. Down my right. Is it your right? Do you want to go over there? You want to go to the other place? You mean this one right here? In front of me. This guy. Right here. This one? Say yes or no. This guy? 
Huh? <laughs> right, to the end of the hall. Here I am. Do I'm gonna go down now or something? You're lying. This is all an elaborate ruse. I, 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 I do not appreciate your ruse. Go up. Up, you say. Right. Wait. 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 Right. That's as right as I can go. Here I am, as right as I can go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a secret fucking door like this. Oh, you remembered. It's all Metroidvania and shit, and you rem you remembered. That's good, because I wouldn't. Well done. Thank you, sir. Or madame. Or sir and madame. Or all you who said those things. Clearly no, but, um, I know what you mean. Peas! I like peas. Peas in our time. That's what I advocate for. See now you get me checking everything. It should be if it should be clear. It should be like you know, like it was in the old Zelda days. We got a little little crack, and you you got a crack in the wall. That means that's where I go. What about it? Does it's a red glint, but I don't see the red glint every time. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, I like Brussels sprouts. They're tasty as fuck. Brussels sprouts are good. Mm. I have such little life. There's no med bay here. I would like a med bay. Or an apple. Or a bunch of apples. Good night, and thank you for showing up. I will still be here for a little bit until I die. Until, I, But I'm about to die any second, but you know. I was going to stop just a minute ago, but uh, six minutes ago. But um, I'm not dead, so you know, got to keep going. I do appreciate anybody who's stopping by and saying hello. And anyone who watches me post... Uh, streamlessly and hits the VOD stuff and hits the subscribe or the like, you know, follow or the like even. Just like. Thumbs up are cool. Because, you know, I like to play these games. It's fun stuff. And I like that you watch me play these games. It's fun stuff. And, uh, you know, so. Trying to figure out my way to somewhere more useful than here. Um. Oh, I know I only have one hit point left. I know. I'm very aware. I just <laughs> can't do fucking anything about it, so... You're basically watching the dregs. When I die, I'm doomed. I'm done. That's it. That's that's Saturday night 
uh, you know, September, what, 12th? Some shit like that. Um, whatever it is. That's, that's the end of it. Well, it'll be 13th, because, you know, because time. But time is relative. I'll be done, and I will say goodnight, and I will bid you all adieu. Until tomorrow night, when I might do something cooler. But you'll have to tell me what you want to see tomorrow night ahead of time. Please hit my Twitter and, like, post comments on the YouTubes or whatever and be like, I really wish you'd play this other game. I really like it when you play Convoy. It's fun. Or maybe you should play Hammerwatch some more because Hammerwatch is Hammerwatchy. And it's neat. But I think you should play Dagon Cleric because that's different. Or, I don't know. Tell me what you'd rather. I can play Shadowrun. I can play X... Uh, we're talking about XCOM. I'll see. There it is. So Snipe Hunter and I are talking about doing XCOM, maybe Tandem XCOM, which would be kind of cool. Um, but you just let me know. Tell me what you think that I should play, and um, I will take that into I will take that into account when I decide what it is that I'm gonna do the next time I play. And um, I'm Ombwa, and I'm of the DOP crew, and this has been Hammer Watch, and I'm I'm glad you've been hanging out and watching me do it. Um, I will see you probably tomorrow evening, and I'm glad you showed up. Please show up again, hit all the buttons you can hit, subscribe, and blah, 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 and maybe buy me more apple juice, because I'm out. I'm out of apple juice, but maybe that's for the best, considering the time. Thanks from the bottom of my heart for showing up, and uh, I hope I will see you again. Good night. Good evening. I'm Ombois. I will see you in the future.